Hello everyone, the incredible shrinking bearded man here, uh, more like the incredible bloated bearded man at the moment. Um, oh, where do I start? Um, I've been relapsed for quite a while now. It's uh, slowly gotten worse um, to the point where uh, I started the page back in June of 2013 and I'm officially uh, heavier than I was when I started that page. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I know it's not very funny, but uh, I started a new job last March. I was about 245 at that time. Um, it's an extremely physical job. Uh, it's been really good financially. I've been doing the Dave Ramsey thing for a while. Uh, it's been working incredibly well for that. Um, but in the process, uh, anytime that I severely lift weights or lifted weights, I just, my appetite got ravenous and just can't control my eating again when that happens. Uh, I'm in actually pretty decent shape. I've been doing uh, 50 to 60 hours worth of work for the last, uh, well, for a long time, but this job is really physical, lifting like um, upwards of like 600 pound windows at a time. Um, I, got, I got the guns to prove it there. Uh, <laughs> but when I get home, all I want to do is find the, uh, high, the highest source of calories I can, the quickest source of calories I can, and, um, I'm a person that has an eating addiction, and I'm a person that, uh, can't control their eating when they get into stuff that they're not supposed to, uh, I was 515 pounds at my lightest, if you weren't aware of that before. I got down to 218 at my lightest uh, back in 2018. Uh, currently 312 pounds again. Uh, needless to say, I fell off the wagon. Um, get, getting down to uh, 218 was a lot of water fasting, a lot of uh, two to three day water fasting, a lot of like just starving myself, not eating much, which wasn't the healthiest route to go. Uh, I was always most comfortable about two, two, 235, 240. I'm a big guy, you know. But lately, like even around Christmas, uh, nine months ago, I was about two, 280, 280. It wasn't, it wasn't incredibly terrible, but I've creeped up past the 300 mark for many months now. And I always told myself if I ever get that high that it was, it's time to do something. And I've been putting it off for too long. Um, it's kind of like my accountability here. Um, I look bloated and tired more because I just woke up. Um, today I just actually got up. I made my morning cup of joe. Um, I threw away all the food in my house besides my potatoes and I am currently going to be starting a 30 day potato cleanse, detox, whatever you want to call it again. Uh, I've actually had really good success with this back in the day. I know a lot of critics out there are saying it's a fad diet, it's like nothing that anybody should be doing. Um, there's been numerous people that's done it that's you know proven that it's actually pretty healthy to, to do so uh, for me it's more about I can't water fast anymore because I'm so I'm so active uh, I even talked to Nate Gersfeld uh, from the Beat Your Jeans podcast and he runs the uh, um, the f fasting escapes in, in California and he suggested that I definitely do not do any water fasting beyond 24 hours uh, while I'm doing my physical labor that I'm doing so uh, this potato thing seemed like a good idea um, I can't afford to go down there for two weeks and do like water fasting to detox and to get my cravings under control um, <coughs> It's gotten to the point where um, doing some physical stuff gets me out of breath a little bit. Not too bad, but I can tell I can tell a difference. I can tell I'm bloated. I can tell I'm overfed. I can tell that I'm heavier. My body is feeling it. I, I hurt my back freaking sifting the cat box <laughs> uh, last week. Uh, 
you know, I've been binging my 600 pound life on Discovery Plus and you know, I don't think I'll ever get it, it, you know, much heavier than I am now. But then again, when I was 220 pounds, I didn't think I'd ever get that heavy, this heavy again. And I've tried, uh, tried calorie counting again. That didn't work. I tried, uh, just doing intuitive eating with uh, plant-based foods that didn't work because my, my cravings always go, you know, just get out of hand and I oh, don't my cat's coming up here. <laughs> Hi, Mando. Get down, Mando. Come on, buddy. But <laughs> that's Mando. That's my cat. I got him last year. He's been a really big help to my uh, mental health. Um, so after careful, uh, careful consideration, the uh, potato cleanse is what I'm choosing to do. Uh, it's going to take out this, uh, a decision fatigue for me. Uh, I followed Andrew Taylor, the Spud Fit guy, for, for many years. And I always like what he's doing over there. Um, the plan is, is I know he does like a modified thing where you can add greens and veggies and stuff, but just make it strictly potatoes. Um, like any addict, uh, he talks about this a lot in his videos, that... Um, like any addict, you need a break from the things that were making you addicted in the first place. And knowing that I have choice of eating other foods besides potatoes for a while is going to make me slip into other stuff. Whereas if I tell myself only potatoes, I'm going to be eating a lot of sweet potatoes. I'm going to be eating a lot of different varieties of potatoes. I'm not going to just stick to russets. I'm just going to eat and bake though, no no air frying, I'm not going to zap out the water at all. I might be instapotting a few of them for like some mashed, but mostly they're going to be baked. Um, I'm going to try to do the first three days, I'm not going to restrict any calories. I'm going to use minimal condiments and then after the three days is up, I'm, I'm going to go strictly to plain, no... Um, know anything just strict plain potatoes and I might I've been planning on this I might actually start once my cravings get under control those first three days I'm gonna start counting out like 2400 calories worth so um, I think that's the plan uh, and then after the 30 days Depending on how well it goes, I'll probably end up starting to add some uh, leafy greens and some uh, other vegetables with it. But I think for the most part, I'm going to stick to just potatoes only with some other vegetables added into it. And I think after the 30 days, I'll add like a can of beans in a day for the, the awesome nutrients that beans offer and minimal fruit. I mean, I know fruit's good for you, but it just once I get into fruit, I, I can't get out of that at all. Um, it's just, I think more, I think my problem is, is like right now my stomach's so bloated out and stretched out that it just, I need a break. I need something that's going to just calm my brain. Uh, like I said, with any addict, like I've quit smoking, I've quit smoking pot. I quit smoking cigarettes, I quit drinking, I've quit all these things before, I quit soda. And the best way to do that is to do an extinction burst for a while and just completely get off of everything that was causing the problems in the first place. So um, that's the idea with this whole potato thing. So um, it's going to be rough, I know that much. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to stick to a, uh, a, a DDPY regiment, try to get my body back into shape with that. Um, and like I said, I would like to just continue doing this. Not so extreme after the, after the 30 days are up, but um, keep doing this till I get back down to like at least 250 probably. So about 50 some, about 60 pounds probably. I know a lot of that's going to go away. Probably about 15 pounds of it will go away in the first week or two just because of all the bloat that I got and everything. I, I store bloat like crazy. I, it's like I said, my digestion will get a break. My decision fatigue will get a break. Um, 
just I don't I'm it's gonna simplify it so much to where I'm gonna have just certain amounts of potatoes made up every day um, I'm gonna weigh them out at the beginning of the day before I eat and then like whatever I get whatever I get uh, kind of like my cat he, he's he's gotten fat and I have to weigh out his food now or else he just if I free feed him he's just gonna eat all the time and like I said we'll see how it goes but I'm gonna try to chronicle it here on YouTube uh, Facebook doesn't like to show you my posts so uh, definitely follow me hit the subscribe uh, I'm gonna try to do a lot more of these on here uh, in the coming months the coming weeks coming days because like I said Facebook's algorithms they don't they want me to pay you to pay this for you to see me and I'm not about to pay for this because I don't get anything out of it except for motivation for me and motivation for you so um, took a lot for me to even make this video today and like I said for all you critics out there I don't give a damn right now uh, I'm doing what I feel is best for me um, we all have our opinions on health and nutrition uh, if, if you think that slamming a bunch of cholesterol and animal fat in your system to lose weight is a good idea then that's perfectly fine by you I don't believe in keto I don't believe in low carb um, this isn't a gimmick it's been proven Dr. McDo uh, Dr. McDougall says it's perfectly healthy uh, a lot of the other plant-based doctors say it's perfectly healthy uh, Andrew Taylor got his blood work done for many years actually when I did uh, when I was originally on this journey to begin with plant-based journey and after 2000 starting like 2017 my diet was mostly potatoes and I felt really good and my inflammation was down and my digestion was the best and it was it simplified a lot of things and this is what I need to do uh, if not I mean if you know there's just I'm gonna start slipping into my old habits even worse and then after a while it's that downward spiral of you know you overeat so you get depressed and then you get depressed so you overeat and then you overeat because you're depressed and my damn cat's up here on the counter again <laughs> Mando no anyways well there we go <laughs> that's Mando there he's he's a curious 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 boy uh, so yeah it's 12 minutes is long enough uh, I'm gonna keep uh, I'm going to keep updated. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, like I said, I really don't have a diet plan for this too much. It's mostly potatoes. Three days of free feeding, whatever I want. And then... You stupid cat. And then, <laughs> sorry, sorry, you didn't want to see cat ass on this video. Uh, but yeah, after the three days are up, I'm going to pretty much just limit it. Limit the sauces, limit the limit the intake and just ride it on through you know I and then once I get comfortable enough and the cravings go down and the 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 stomach stretches or shrinks up a little bit damn cat come on sorry <laughs> as as soon as the as soon as the cravings go down and the stomach shrinks up then I can kind of go back to intuitive eating but I know when I did this before uh, after about five days my hunger just went went down like crazy and I was getting satiated really easily and my I just wasn't very hungry so um, we'll see so I'll keep you updated stay strong guys <laughs>